The first step to answering this question is to group the numbers in front together and the powers of 10 together. So if we do that, we have 4.1 times 3 in brackets multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3 times 10 to the power of 5. We then multiply these together. So 4.1 times 3 gives us 12.3 and 10 to the power of minus 3 times 10 to the power of 5 gives us 10 to the power of 2 since we've got indices with the same base, the tens, and so when we're multiplying, we add the powers together. So we get 12.3 times 10 to the power of 2. We need to check whether this number is in standard form. Remember, a number is in standard form if it is in the form of a times 10 to the power of n, where a is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. 12.3 is not between 1 and 10, and so we need to rewrite it in the following way. 12.3 can be written as 1.23 times 10 multiplied by 10 squared on the end. And we can simplify this as 1.23 times, so 10 times 10 squared gives us 10 to the power of 3. And this is now in standard form. If we look at an example of division now, remember the division symbol can be written as a fraction bar. So we can rewrite this as 6 times 10 to the power of 8 all over 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11. We can then split this fraction into two separate fractions in the following way. So 6 over 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 all over 10 to the power of 11. And so 6 divided by 1.5 is equal to 4. And 10 to the power of 8 divided by 10 to the power of 11, when we have indices which have the same base, so the tens, and we're dividing, then we take away the powers. So multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 minus 11 is minus 3. And this answer is in standard form. So the final example, remember, first step is to write this as a single fraction. So we can write this as 2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 all over 4 times 10 to the power of minus 13. Then we split this into two separate fractions in the following way. So 2 over 4 times 10 to the power of minus 2 all over 10 to the power of minus 13. We can now simplify this in the following way. So 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5 and 10 to the power of minus 2 divided by 10 to the power of minus 13. Since we've got two indices with the same base and we're dividing, we take away the powers. So minus 2 minus minus 13 is the same as minus 2 plus 13. So we get 10 to the power of, so minus 2 plus 13 is 11. Now we check if this number is in standard form. Remember, a number is in standard form if it is written as a times 10 to the power of n, where a is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, and n is a whole number. 0 0.5 is not between 1 and 10, so we need to rewrite this in the following way. Hopefully we notice that 0 0.5 times 10 gives us 5, and 5 is between 1 and 10. So if we use one of these 10s and multiply it with 0 0.5, we'll get a number that's in standard form. So 0 0.5 times 10, and so since we've taken a 10 here and written it here, we now need to reduce the power by 1, so multiplying by 10 to the power of 10. 0 0.5 times 10 equals to 5, and then we multiply by 10 to the power of 10. And this answer is in standard form.